Beloved Bhagavan, dear Lord, for the second time this year, we warm-heartedly welcomed you in Germany. It's awesome. It's so good to have you back here with us. Bhagavan, thank you for giving us the opportunity to meet you, highly honored Paramatma, to receive Amas and your blessings. Thank you, Bhagavan, for giving us the sacred chambers to our country. 17 sacred chambers are open till now and more are coming. Tremendous miracles are changing the life of people in a dramatic way. God is becoming really physical. We feel so blessed, Bhagavan. This time, Bhagavan, we are assembled in some big and some smaller groups all over Germany. Thank you, Bhagavan, for patiently answering our questions and meditating with us. We bow before thee. Bhagavan, please bless us and all the beautiful people in our country. On behalf of the whole German Oneness family, Jay Bolo Bhagavati Bhagavan Ki. Jay! We love you, Bhagavan. Thank you so much. Nandri. Nandri Bhagavan. Hello, Bhagavan. Often you say that women will become the true leaders of the world and that the men should listen to the feelings of the women. But the old attitude that women should follow the men and also that women is more passive seems to be a great hindrance for most relationships. Please give us more insights to understand the true place of women and men in the golden age. Thank you, Bhagavan. The energies around the planet are changing. The female energy is on the rise. Because of that, in the golden age, the women shall be the leaders. Thank you, Bhagavan. Then our Bhagavan, you are teaching us to say with the what is in the beginning with some effort and later spontaneously and without effort when we are fully awake. You say staying with the what is is a meditation. Many other forms of meditation teach us that correct meditation is to become silent. Is this a contradiction or is this that staying with the what is is the only sound and feasible way of becoming silent? Thank you, Bhagavan. Yes. Meditation happens when the meditator is not there. Staying in the waters helps you to get there. Thank you, Bhagavan. Dear beloved Bhagavan, when I sit in front of the Sri Murti and want to communicate, my mind is completely blank, no thoughts, just enjoying your presence. But when I try to pray, it feels like my mind is desperately trying to create a prayer or a wish which is not coming from the heart. Very rarely, I have a real prayer and it feels like every cell in my body is praying. Can you please help me improve my prayers and my communication with you? Thank you, Bhagavan. Prayer must happen spontaneously. When the need arises, prayer also arises. You should not always try to pray. Prayer must spontaneously happen. Only such prayers will be answered. Dear Bhagavan, on our planet we live in duality, light and dark, good and bad. 
but we can learn from all religions that beyond this planet, reality also exists. We know this in terms of heaven and hell, or angels and demons, and so on. I wonder, where is the non duality to define all this in Advaita and Purman? One is talks about heaven on earth. This is not about the world changing, it is about you changing. When you change, the world appears to be different. The world becomes heaven to you. The world is the same, but it looks different to you. When that happens, all duality ceases. The world looks perfect as it is. When I was given awakening, I was in total bliss and gratitude. After some time back at home, I took everything for granted again. How can I remind in the high consciousness of gratitude? And being aware of the unconditional love of my divine. Thank you, Baba. There are 30 varieties of sacred chambers. I do not know how many varieties are there in German. There are chambers for transformation and chambers for awakening. Once those chambers arise and you visit those chambers three, four, or five times, a complete transformation to occur in you. Thank you, Bhagavan. Hey, Bhagavan, you keep emphasizing that we have to put our God in the context of a good friend. In recent years, one has encouraged us more, more and more to prostrate in front of our divine. Like when we enter in the same chambers, we are told to express great humbleness. But in our culture, we don't have any friend in front of who we prostrate. Sometimes I feel like just sitting down in front of my altar, chatting with my God like a good friend, and not doing any rituals and paying reverence in advance. Can you please explain how I can connect this to you have been teaching us? Thank you for one. All this is only in the beginning. Once you and your God have become friends, you walk and talk together, you eat together, you pray together, you make fun of each other, it's totally different. You and your God actually become friends and, and there's no more praying. You only make demands. It is a totally different relationship to whatever you have thought about God. There are instances in India where a person and his God have both gone to a movie together. And on one other occasion, a person and his personal God went to a pub and drank. So anything would happen between friends. Thank you, Bhagavan. Yeah, Bhagavan, recently you said that oneness has about abundance. This is the focus of this year. You said we have to go through the chamber process, asking for will, and the divine would tell you when the money will come. Sometimes I feel closely connected with the divine. In this day, I have no desires at all. But often these desires are still unfulfilled and I lose my connection and faith to the Divine. What can I do to have faith and a strong bond with the Divine? Thank you, Bhagavan. You must first go to a chamber where your karma is clear. Then go to the chamber where your program is changed. Then go to a chamber where your ancestors are liberated. Then go to the chamber where money is given. You must follow that sequence. If such chambers 
are not there in Germany, it will soon happen. One, we care about the youth who need so much help. They are insecure and cannot handle all the power of media, computer games, alcohol, and drugs. They feel so lost. We give a lot of nature, but we, when we work with the individual, we often feel helpless. What can we do, one? In India, there are chambers exclusively for the youth. In those chambers, de addiction happens and the youth are completely transformed. In India, there are also chambers for children run by children. All this will soon be happening in Germany too. Okay, I got so tired in Deutschland, I got off the show. Thank you, Bhagavan. Hello, Shri Bhagavan. In the last night of class Darshan in Germany in February, you said that for our God to become physical, we have to become childlike, not judging ourselves and accepting as we are. Still, many people seem to have difficulty to be in this childlike state. How can all the obstacles be removed so that we all may experience our physical divine? Thank you, Bhagavan. As I was talking earlier, one must first go to a chamber where the karma is created, then go to a chamber where the program is changed, then go to a chamber where the ancestors are cleared, and then go to a chamber where your God becomes physical. There are special chambers where your God becomes physical, but you just go through the karma chamber, the program changing chamber, and the rest of the ancestors, and then go there, and then your God becomes physical. Once you go to the chambers where your God becomes physical, you could invite your God home and your God would definitely come home and stay with you. One, it's a big one. Many people experience feeling, liberation, abundance, and divine love in the sacred chambers. It feels that we have Everything here in our country now, why do we still have to come to India for deepening process? Thank you very much. Actually, you do not have to come to India. In India, we have the oneness university, like we have a medical university or engineering university. Like you go to university, get your graduate degree or postgraduate degree or your doctorate. Similarly, you come to India, the Oneness University, to become a trainer, advanced trainer, Oneness teacher, spiritual teacher, spiritual master, great master. Otherwise, you will get all that you want in your own country, in the chambers, and through your trainers. Your trainers and your chambers will deliver all that you want. Yeah, Bhagavan, we learned that the special deepening prefers people to become a spiritual teacher. What is so special about this deepening, Bhagavan? Thank you, Bhagavan. The special deepening brings you closer to God and prepares you to become a spiritual teacher and a spiritual master and ultimately a great master. Yes, Sri Bhagwan, please could you tell us <clears throat> the significance of the Jai Bolo prayer? Thank you, Bhagwan. The Jai Bolo prayer was given by the Paramatma, that is, God will be physical, and we were told that he would respond very, very fast to this prayer. So try it and see. For all of them want special blessing for God and also they want to meditate with God. 
all the blessings to you. Namaste. 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 Namaste.